Danielle here, back with another video. You already know, today I'm not going to be teaching you how to Photoshop or love your boyfriend. I'm teaching you how to dress like me. Yeah. Yeah. So I have five shirts right here. As you can see, literally normal shirts. And I'm going to be showing you guys how to turn them into super cute. Some of them are very simple, but some people don't know this, that I do this. A lot of you guys are like, how do you get your shirts like that? Like, do you buy them like that? But no, it's literally just a DIY that you can do at home. How to dress like me. But anyways, guys, make sure to like, <laughs> comment, subscribe, and tap the bell. But without further ado, let's get on with the video. There we go. Now, let's go. So the first one that I am going to be doing is Popular Poison sent me this hoodie. I always have the problem where I like the things but I don't want to wear them as a hoodie. She likes crop tops yeah. like a lot. So I actually just get my scissors out. This is very simple to do. And you just take it off the hanger, obviously. But you get your scissors and I'm not very fancy. I like to just lay on my lap and it's so Mikey's gonna hold it up for me since I kind of have to show you guys it. Right. Basically what you do, hi baby, oh, hi, say hi. Go eat your cookie. Oh. Go eat your cookie, baby. Basically, what you're going to start off by doing is you're going to cut this part off because most sweatshirts don't really have that. And you want to make sure that you have really good scissors. So these scissors are actually, they're fabric cutters. Literally cut like right around it because if you literally cut like two inches higher, it's going to be way too short. And I kind of like to go down a little bit once I've like cut around that. And it honestly, it doesn't really matter if it's even because no one's gonna be able to tell. So what I'm gonna be doing is I'm just gonna be cutting the hood off. Basically what I like to do is I like to get any like sports bra and I wear it and then I wear it off so it kind of shows it a little bit and it's really cute. So yeah guys, so basically this is how you cut it and now it's a sweatshirt and I like to wear it off the shoulders a little bit. It depends on how you wanna wear it. This is just how I would wear it. You can wear it off the shoulder, off both shoulders, like this. And even if it's like a fancy hoodie, like this would be cute to like go out somewhere. Or you literally can just wear it like a little bit and just wear it normally. But I like it off the shoulder. And it's still a crop, it's super cute. So this is the next one. This is another shirt from Popular Poison. Uh, it's just really normal, it's just slay. First things first, you're gonna take the bottom of it and you're kind of just gonna cut like, find the center and cut like six inches over. And then you're gonna cut like the same thing on the other side. And then I like to make it like not even a square, I kind of like to go like in like a circular motion. But I like to kind of just cut it in like a circular motion. Kind of make it like an oval at the top. And it should look like that right now. Just to show your belly button on <laughs> display. And then you kind of just take this part. And you tie it. And you tie it. But I'm not doing no. it. Cut right here so then you like take it and you like tie it like that. Okay. So then what I like to do is I like to kind of cut it a little bit more. But instead of doing like what I usually do, I start off by here. I actually do this to a lot of my shirts. Like a lot of my shirts that are like cut like this is usually me. So I kind of like I said cut in like a circular motion. Something like that. And okay, so I've now cut the sides of it and then I'm just gonna go in and cut the bottom parts. And that you literally just cut it line, so it's not. When you're done with that, you go like this and you just tie it. Yeah, it's really cute and then you just wear it like that. It's like a little like tie in the front. It definitely looks cuter on. So I think that's really cute and easy. Also, this is just literally to make a shirt that's so boring into something that like has actual style onto it. So this is what this looks like. one I have a super boring hoodie that just says honey on it super boring and got this at Q how to turn this into something that's not boring we're gonna get our scissors out to make it a little bit more cuter I think 
cut the little like balls off if they have them and you're gonna take this string out and I think that it like and then after that you might so hold it like this and cut a little tiny circle and I kind of like to cut like a big one like that and then I kind of go like smaller now I just do like smaller ones like, like little ones so then you just have three little holes right there, but you can do it in a couple more areas. And then you kind of just like stretch it out, play with it a little bit so the strings of the shirt like come out. Um, but then I do it to like the bottom too because it's a little bit more fun. It just adds like more like definition. And if it's like a boring thing and you're like going out somewhere and you kind of want to make it like fun, this is like definitely the way to do it. And I actually do it on the arms too because I think that it looks kind of cute on the arm. So I'm just gonna do like maybe like two holes on one side. So it's not like too much, but it's just like a little bit. And then I just stretch it out a little bit and then you just have two holes right there. But yeah, so I don't know if you guys can really see it, but it will definitely look cuter like when it's on. It's not something like super crazy or like super hard, but it just adds more like definition to the hoodie and then you don't have the strings hanging down. So it's just like easier and if you want something like with a little bit more style literally all you have to do cut some holes so next this is a super good idea for like a workout outfit or something like that you want to do if you're like just like going to the gym so i'm like he's gonna hold it for me and you kind of start like on the top and then you kind of like go down And then once you get down to like where you want it to go, you just kind of like curve it and cut it. So now it looks like this. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna cut around the neck part again because, and the thing is that you kind of like want this one to look messy just like you want the other ones to look messy. This can be difficult, especially if you have six and some nails like me. Like, and if it's like super thin like this, that's like fine. And then you just cut it straight. Okay. And it probably looks weird right now, but when I put it on, you guys will see what I'm talking about. If you want just like a cute thing to just like go over your sports bra, like, to do it. And you can even cut it shorter so it's like that. Or you could like go like that or something. But this is the way that I like it. How do you sleep me? Last one I actually have to try on to show you guys what I'm talking about. So now let's do the charms. And this is super long and I don't really like, like it. I kind of want it to be like a little bit cuter. Okay, so you take it like this, twist it, preferably two fingers, and then poke it through. But yeah, so then you just tie it like this and it's cute. Like um, this is just a fun, quick video for you guys to see how I get dressed and how like some of my DIYs about how I like go into my outfit, you know. And Mike is just here because he's really cute and he makes everything funny. That's me. We'll see you next time. We love you guys. Mwah! I hope you enjoyed this video, how to dress like me. I hope I see many pictures of you dressing like me. Happy Thanksgiving, everyone. I know it's not Thanksgiving, but it's just what. I hope everyone had an amazing Thanksgiving. I'm so thankful for all of you guys so much. And I hope you had a good time with your families. I did. I hope you ate a lot of food. I hope your dogs didn't freaking treat you like this. Yeah. Oh! So thankful for you guys. And I have ran out of video ideas because I've literally done everything. But I've literally like ran out of video ideas because I've done like everything that I wanted to do. If you guys can comment below some video ideas that you want me to do. And when I do the video, I'll actually like shout out your name in it and tell me this person gave me this video idea. And it'll be super cool. And Sylvie will really appreciate it. Just like I will really appreciate it. But make sure to comment below, like this video, subscribe, and I'll see you next next time on whatever you guys choose for the video.